Joseph. Chibi's visage. Joseph. You see why we don't live here year-round? The water's practically hitting the bulkhead. Pretty soon we can put a diving board in. It really is beautiful here, though. You miss all this in the summer. Christina used to love the beach. She would spend hours here. Joseph. to that antique store near Grand Street where we got the rocking chair. I want to get some wind chimes for the tree by the water. Honey? Do you hear me? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I, I was reading. What are you reading? Uh, it's just an old journal of mine from when I lived in Europe. 
you never told me you kept a journal? Well, I don't. Not anymore. I stopped after I moved to the States. That must be so interesting. May I read some of it? Only if you've learned how to read Polish. Anyway, you'd find it very tedious. Oh, I doubt that. Why don't you read some of it to me? Ah, it would bore you to tears. Now, what was it you asked me before? Martha? I know I've got it. I think I felt them too much. <laughs> A mess. No, don't get up. I thought we could lie down together. What about the coffee? It's too hot. Maybe we could sleep in here tonight. The sound of the waves is so clear and it's so relaxing. That would be nice. That bedroom's so stuffy. The coffee will get cold. I'm too comfortable to get up and drink anything. I could fall asleep right now. So could I, but... I've got to change first. What time is it? Uh, quarter to 11. It's late.
I'm not here about myself. I'm here for my husband, Joseph. I'm very worried about him. Seven months ago, our daughter, Christina, We lost our daughter, Christina. Someone called us from the school. Joseph answered the phone. They said that there'd been an accident and that we should come right away. They wouldn't tell him what had happened. He asked them, but they wouldn't say. When we got to the hospital, we asked at the nurse's station for Christina, but... We knew that there was something terribly wrong because they took us into this little waiting room and they said that the doctor would be right in to speak with us. I knew as soon as he walked in the room that she was dead. He wouldn't look at me at all. He spoke to Joseph. He wouldn't even look at me. Joseph? Joseph? Honey, come to bed. Joseph. Son. Go back to sleep. had a good relationship. Reasonably good, I mean. We weren't close the way some mothers and daughters are close, but uh, there were no major problems. Well, I would have liked it to have been closer, but she was always her father's daughter. They were really very much alike. Well, they were both very self-sufficient. They didn't seem to need other people. I don't know. I... I was the youngest in my family. By the time I was born, my father was already an older man. I always felt he was very distant. No, my mother and I were not close. Honey? I was thinking about my mother. I was trying to figure out what went wrong. Where all our problems began, you know? I 
try to look back on when we had a good relationship. But I can't remember any such time. I don't think there was such a time. We did anything to begin with, did you? Actively. You never actively did anything, did you? You just did what you always had. Nothing. Nothing. It's holding me here. Several books of the Iliad and the Odyssey, Antigone and Oedipus. Actually, we completed those. The Knight's Tale. My favorite. Selections from Paradise Lost and Genesis from the Old Testament. Was that interesting? Why do you ask that? Because in this country, it's almost impossible to teach the Bible as merely a great work of literature. Every time I try to teach it that way and not as the ultimate word of God, I'd spend the better part of the lesson arguing with every fundamentalist in the class. The biggest problem I had this year was with two young ladies who belonged to some group called God's Assembly or something to that effect. That must have been a hoot. It certainly was. I spent two whole classes tiptoeing around the controversies. We ended up wasting half the allotted time before I decided to move on to the next topic. Oh, that's too bad. Didn't you have the same problem with several students a couple of years ago? I faintly remember you ranting and raving at the dinner table. We were on the topic of the current crisis in Germany. You know, the anti-foreign hate groups using the same propaganda that the Nazis used in the 30s. This inevitably led to the discussion of World War II and the Holocaust. Would you believe two of the students revealed that they believed the Holocaust never happened? Is that incredible? I can't understand it. It's just ridiculous. Where did they get these ideas? From their parents. Who else? My parents died in the war. My father belonged to the Communist Party. And when the Germans invaded Poland, he ran away because he knew they'd kill him. He would have taken my mother and me, but I couldn't travel. I was only five and very frail and sickly. He tried to convince my mother to go with him and leave me with some friends, but she refused. After the war, I tried to find him, but it was impossible. We lived in a nice house that overlooked the Baltic Sea. My mother, she used to sit by the bedroom window and read to me. She had such high hopes for me. When the Germans invaded, she knew we were in grave danger because of my father's politics. She explained to me that the safest thing to do was to hide in a small closet in the basement. We had a friend, a wonderful woman named Eva, who agreed to look after the house while we were in hiding. We filled the closet with as much food and water as we could. 
And then Eva blocked the closet door with some old furniture. Three days later, the Germans occupied the town. And several officers requisitioned our house for their own personal use. Eva was ordered to stay on and take care of the house and feed the officers. Somehow, she managed to sneak food and water to us every few days. To pass the time, my mother whispered poems to me from memory. I remember all of them. She fed me and gave me my medication as best she could. She herself was becoming ill. Apparently, she was always afraid that the Germans might keep Eva from coming back for a while. And so, she saved almost all of the food and water for me. She had always taken care of me. She had always given me everything I ever needed or wanted. And now, well, now it seemed like the most natural thing in the world. And then, our worst fear, eight days went by and ever didn't appear. By now, my mother was very ill. Even I knew that. There were times she appeared barely conscious. There was only enough food and water for five or six days, and she wouldn't touch it. She said she merely had a fever, and that the only way to get rid of it was to avoid any nourishment. And I believed. During the next few days, she passed in and out of consciousness. She kept saying over and over how proud she was of me and that all she wanted was for me to have a wonderful life. That's all she thought of. I pleaded with her, begged her, please, don't die. <laughs> Three days after my mother died, the Germans left, and Eva was able to rescue me. The, the last thing my mother said to me was, I love you so much, darling. Make a sound without hear you. My mother shouldn't have died that way. Christina shouldn't have. They should. Would you like us to stay tonight? It wouldn't be a problem, really. I'd prefer to stay with you. 
No, it would be better if you left. Are you sure? I'm just so worried about the two of you. It wouldn't be a good idea. It would only upset him. <sighs> okay, honey. Please call if you want to talk. I don't care if it's 4 o'clock in the morning. You just pick up the phone. Okay? Okay, Rach. Thanks. I'm sorry. <laughs> you didn't mean to startle you. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock. It's time to get up. Oh, it's too beautiful a day to spend in bed. I was thinking we might go to Montauk for the day. Maybe uh, stay for dinner? I, I think we ought to talk first about last night. Why didn't you tell me? Martha, please, let's enjoy the day. I'm feeling so much better. Last night, I, yeah, last night I thought about everything, and I've really come to terms with it all. Come, your coffee will get cold. We'll have a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon, please. Why did you do that? Oh, I thought we could celebrate. We haven't had many good times lately, and I'm afraid it's because of me. Tonight could be a, well, a new beginning. I don't want to cause you any more pain. We can sleep late tomorrow. I had such a good time tonight. How about you? Mm. I haven't had so much peace in ages. Me too. Have you seen my bag? Yes, it's on the end table. I made egg salad for lunch. That's fine. Throw in a couple of apples. So ready, done. Oh, we're all out of soda. We'll have to stop by. I'll be at the car. All right, I'll be right out. This is Martha Kamikowski. 
Yes, is Dr. Tariq available? Well, I have an appointment with him for later this morning, but I'm going to have to cancel. Oh, okay. Bye. That smells good. I'll set the table. What would you like to do tonight? The community cinema's showing that new Polish film that the critics are raving about. Oh, I don't feel like going to see a movie tonight. What would you like to do then? Well, I thought we might uh, open a bottle of wine, take a walk on the beach. It's such a beautiful night. That'd be nice. Most definitely. In fact, I think we've turned a corner. Joseph and I have had a wonderful week. Things have really come together. He hit a low point Thursday night, but after that, well, he's back to his old self. We even made love the other night. It was the first time since it happened. Actually, it was the first time in over a year like a different person. I just think he's really come out of his depression. Maybe he was right. Maybe he just needed more time to himself. Well, it's certainly much better. He's much more his old self. Maybe he's just come to terms with it in his own mind. Isn't that possible? all over the floor. Daddy said we can eat it for Didn't dinner. Did you hear me? It's dripping all over the goddamn floor. Now take it outside right now. It's all right, honey. You take it outside. I'll be out in a minute to clean it. It's like a storm coming. This will be a perfect night for a film. Would it be all right if we went on another night? I'm not feeling up to going out tonight. Well, of course. Maybe tomorrow.
been thinking about our conversation last week. About my mother. It seems as if I've spent my whole life trying to gain her love, but never did. You see, she preferred my brother. Actually, she preferred all men. Women were always second best to her. Her ultimate compliment was, he's a real man. I never could compete with my brother. He could do no wrong. When he'd walk into a room, her face would light up. Whenever I spent a holiday with her, I always felt that she'd rather be with him. <sighs> Even now, when she's dead, I find myself wanting her approval. Sad, isn't it? Christina, I Thinking of Christina. I tried to be close to her. I wanted to be closer. But she always preferred her father. She was daddy's little girl right from the beginning. They seemed to have a special bond between them. I was always outside of it. But there's nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, a father and daughter should be close, right? What about Christina? She, she didn't feel rejected by me, did she? I, I mean, she was the one who preferred Joseph. It wasn't my fault. Unless. Unless. She couldn't have seen me the way I see my mother, could she? She couldn't turn to Joseph because she thought I didn't love her, did she? 